Hi, this is step by step on how to paint fur. Uh, there's what I'm using as an example on this uh, video are two commission paintings I recently completed for of Bengal tigers. Uh, what you see here is a print of the first tiger that you'll see on the video. Uh, the original was 24 by 36. Um, all the paints that I use are Comart except for the step where I use transparent raw umber which is a golden airbrush color. Uh, the technique that I paint is freehand, no masking. And I'll start with a simple sketch on the canvas with a few reference lines to let me know in the direction the hair grows and uh, uh, different lengths of the hair. Um, the strokes that are in this uh, video are very basic strokes that you learned when you first started airbrushing or that you've uh, picked up over time. Um, nothing new here, it's just a different way of painting, uh, painting fur. The first one that you might look for, the dagger strokes, they appear everywhere in there, but most dominant when you see the step by step, you'll be able to see them mostly in the white areas. And they just go with a very quick wrist action in the direction that the hair, that the hair grows. Um, the next one would be a scribble stroke uh, where it's very short and quick and constant moving but at random. The key to that and actually with the dagger strokes is that they are random and not in lines. Uh, beginners sometimes have a tendency to make all the lines and uh, the hairs go across the snout or whatever, wherever they're at, and they just go row after row, and after a while it starts to look like ranks of soldiers. So it's really important that you um, do these uh, strokes at random. Um, other than that, the eyeballs have uh, the circle fades, and the shading down below the chin, inside the mouth, along the eyes are all just your very basic uh, fade and just be sure you're back about three to six inches away from the surface and that will add a nice gentle tone rather than dark uh, shapes or stripes that you might get if you're working up too close. Um, if you have any questions please feel free to contact me. The contact information is at the end of the video and if you want to see a complete portfolio of my work uh, check out our new website at impactgallerygifts.com and I hope to hear from you, comments or, or questions. Thank you for your interest and your time.
Thank you.